Hey, what's up? This is Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're gonna to talk about what is a variance, right? It's a big V word you often hear about it. Variance. We're gonna talk about it today in this video. Get ready. They ask me how I know it'll be okay. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area, and I want to help everyone get real. R E A L. Real estate explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So we're talking about the big B word, variance, right? So what is a variance? A variance is when a landowner, right, requests a change, eh? Not necessarily in the zoning law, but just a change that allows for a special permission, right? For their piece of property, for their utility. So what they have to do is go before a city council or the board or whatever commission and present why their property in order to get the highest and best use out of their property, the current zoning laws are causing a problem or hindering that or preventing them from using it for its highest and best purpose. So once they can present that there's a challenge or some type of difficulty to do that, they have a chance of getting a variance, right? At least a variance hearing and starting the process. So what happens after you apply for variance? Is it just magically boom, they vote on it? Kind of, but it's a little more intricate than that. They actually go out to the adjacent properties and let them know of the variance request. So a lot of times you hear people say, I wanted to put a pool, but my neighbors complained. Or I wanted to build this deck, but my neighbors complained, right? And yeah, that's a real thing. Neighbors can be a determining factor in shutting down a variant request. So I'm not saying you can go out there and change your minds, but just letting you know, these are kind of some of the things that happen when you go out there trying to make your special request happen because they might not have it, or they might say, you're gonna obstruct my view if you do that or you're gonna infringe on my property, or you're gonna ruin my garden or my dog so it's gonna to be too loud. All types of reasons that are valid reasons if you're living next door and you don't want someone taking any of those liberties away from you. So let's say everything goes well and the neighbors are okay with you getting your variance or that they determine that the neighbor's requests aren't substantial enough to stop you from getting the variance, then you may still have to go in front of the board, present your argument, present your case, and let them vote on it. Typically, there's a fee, some plans required, and if you wanna get more in depth than that, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. We can talk if you're in a greater Boston area. If you're out of state, I know some great agents that can help you in other states as well. So, I just want you to know what the variance is. We explained it, so I'm gonna go ahead and, is that a peace sign or a V for variance? It's been real, it's been 90, you gotta go. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.